Welcome back to the EPEC challenge guys in the spring update beta. We have made a bit of money. If we look at our financials, uh, I've repaid down to two and a half million. I know I said I wanted to get down to a million, but the game's been running for like three, four hours uh, to get to this point. And I want to, I want to I, I build more. I can't wait. I can't wait. And uh, what we're going to do, so uh, let's look at what, what's actually making money for us. Well, it's the train line. The train line is making money for us. Not necessarily because it's a train line. Uh, that might be a factor, but it's mainly because it is carrying stuff in both directions. So it's carrying logs down here, it's carrying planks all the way up there, and it's basically just running empty this little bit. And I think that is a very, very key factor in why it's actually making money. So, what can we do next? Well, somewhere down here, uh, I thought, where the heck is Hollywood? Hollywood is there. Hollywood! All right. So here in Hollywood, we want construction materials. We have a quarry here. We have a materials plant there. And we want to bring them back here. So why not do that? Now, we can't do it by train. That's the catch. We can't do it by train. Because if we look at the cargo wagons for the trains... Um, so this guy can carry construction materials, but it cannot carry uh, stone. This guy can carry stone, but he cannot carry construction materials. So we really can't use the trains for this. We, we, we have to do road vehicles. And I'm hoping and betting that if we build a little road up here and have our road vehicles carry stone up there bricks down here and then empty this bit and back up here to pick up with, with stone and pick up and so on and so forth i am hoping i'm hoping that that will make us some money so um let's borrow a bit of money it's also a relatively cheap thing to do so we don't have to borrow that much and jeopardize our earnings too much uh, because we, we're not earning a lot i mean it's around a hundred thousand uh, per fiscal thingy that we're making it, it, it's it's really it's it's not it's it's not fantastic is it uh, but uh, hopefully it will be someday uh, we do not want player ownership of anything. Uh, as little as possible should be player owned, and as little as possible should be uh, made with that weird rigid road, because this needs to be a little bit unrigid, I think. Uh... So we'll come up here. We, we want to just tap into this quarry, which we do right here. Beautiful. And then we can come up there and continue up to the bricks. Or construction materials, as they're called. The construction materials look very much like bricks, so that's what I'm calling them. Okay. And I think this will do relatively nicely. We have that nice road there, which is pretty much a straight line. Uh, we are going to need some buildings. Uh, I think we'll do... 20 meter platforms we can extend them if needed and we basically just need one platform uh, 
here and another platform up at here. And that'll do. Like so. And then, of course, a drop off, off point down here in Hollywood. Uh, where do you want your construction materials? You want your construction materials down here. Doesn't really matter because you're hitting everything. So let's just put it in there. And let's set up our line. New line uh, from there to there. To, to there, low, to there, and back to there. And that will be cargo, uh, construction materials or bricks. We'll call them bricks. Brick, uh, production, uh, hull, uh, truck. There we go. Oh, and we of course need a um, a road depot thingy as well. And I think we'll put that up. There. I always hit B instead of N. My f my f my f my natural rest resting place of my hand just does not allow my finger to reach N for some reason. You'd think. Working in the IT business, uh, you could get that right someday, but I, after, well, 25 odd years, I haven't reached that point yet. So someday, maybe someday, if I'm lucky. All right, let's buy some vehicles. We're probably going to need quite a few, right? Like uh, 30? Let's do 30 and stick you on cargo brick. Uh, and let's actually, let's give them their color. I, I don't necessarily want to do a custom color because, well, as you maybe know, I am colorblind. Uh, so I'm doing it as well as I can. And we'll repay um that half mil so we now have a loan of three and a half mil so it cost us a million to set this up more or less more or less and we already have stone sitting here very good what's the rate 63 that's more than it needs to be but that's okay because it is going to go up the demand and it is a one-to-one -one production so once things are flowing they'll go full in both directions which is what we really really want like the spice girls say and up here we're looking good let's put up the lines and see All right, we are picking up bricks, or no, stone. We're picking up stone. We're turning them into bricks. We're turning the stones into bricks. And then we're delivering the bricks. Okay. Oh, a new industry in Detroit. Let's go take a peek and see if it's something useful. Well, you do want tools do we have a way of making planks anywhere here no and we don't have a way of making tools either so never mind detroit you do you where's hollywood where did hollywood go hello santa anna oh hollywood is here okay well this is going to take a while just while to sort itself uh, but that's okay. We're uh, the time is paused for now. I'll let it run for a little bit and see if uh, if we start making money on this. I really hope we do. I really hope we do. 
Okay, guys. Uh, we're not making money yet, but I just wanted to show you that up here, each vehicle is making 3,217 from dropping off the stone. And down here, each vehicle is making 5,775 from dropping off the bricks. So that's pretty good. And the line is actually in the green right now. The line is actually in the green right now. Uh, I did go ahead and tell the line in Hollywood North, you need a full load to go or don't go. Uh, and this is a load if available, that's fine. Oh, whoops. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we'll be making money on this line. Uh, let's take a look at this new oil refinery. It's so cool that these just pop up like, uh, oh, uh, something closed down. I'll pop up over here. Um, unfortunately, it's not really somewhere useful. So that's, of course, something that you kind of need to keep an eye on. Uh, uh, do things pop up in useful places? And what could actually be profitable is oil from here, oil from here, or crude. Train the oil all the way down here and stop by New York and drop off. That could be a very, very profitable proposition. And we could even drop off a little bit in Santa Rosa, if we wanted to. So we'd go full on crew on oil, all the way down here. We'd go full on fuel, and then we'd go empty this way back, and then go full on crude, or full on oil, because we'd have, I think we'd have trucks delivering the the crew there let's just pause for a second here we have money to work with right we have money to work with uh, we have six and a half million to work with uh vancouver is making money we are we are making money And in the long run, this should really should be making money as well. Uh, Hollywood already wants more uh, bricks than it was getting before. Well, than it wanted before because it wanted 22 before. And now it wants 31. So this is going to kind of reinforce itself. So this new york proposition could be very very interesting it's a long line with a crappy train is it something that we want to risk i mean this is easy right just bring the crude over We could even just bring crude over from here or there. And when we brought the oil down here to the fuel, drop off the fuel there, and then we could actually pick up crude here and drop off there so that we're running with with cargo that little bit as well then basically what where we would be running empty is here i think it's worth it guys i think it's worth it let me know what you think uh, we, we're going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. But let me know if you think that this is going to be a profitable thing to do.
so let's start with the money we have. We can borrow as we need it. Uh, so. I think I want to put a little road in there. And have it. The route coming in from over there. Like that. Um, the game is paused. Let's let it run at a slow pace and see if this thing starts being really, really good. I think it will be. I think it will be. And how are we looking? Uh, so we spent a million. We're a million down. That makes sense. Uh, but next 97,000 in the green and I think we'll be in the green in this one as well even though we have made investments so we won't be in the green but we'll be in the green if we hadn't invested I think I think uh, so buildings we want a terminal station And we kind of want to come off this way and down through here. This is probably not the flattest terrain. Ah, it's pretty flat, actually. So why don't we put you in there? Boom. Then we need a station here. It needs to, uh, well, this one does, not need, does need to not be a passenger station. That's kind of important because uh, reasons. Uh, and now we can't afford it. Give me some money. Show me the money. Uh, it's going to take forever. Uh, let's borrow something like that and get this in here. Bang. Then we want you we only want them to be 120 meters. Why why did it make it 160? I don't want it to be that long. Let's try it again. 120 meters. Do not go to 160 or I will kick your ass. Okay. Then we need to come in here and we need to come in on this side. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we can put this in. Let's put it in something like this. Uh, let's put in a little bit of road here first. Okay, Syracuse oil well. Right now we have already we already have a project, so that's that. And then down in New York, but we're gonna have to put it over here. We're gonna have to put it over here. Let's put it in there. That looks pretty good. And then a terminus down here, which needs to aim at this canyon valley thing. Uh, let's get the aim right. Something like there and we'll put a little bit of road just hooking it up so you're catching that you're connected to the street 
You are catching that. You are catching that. Okay. How are we looking? So we did make money there. We're definitely not making money here, but that's because of investments. How are the lines looking? So the cargo brick thing is not making money right now, but I am pretty sure it will. Let's just go take a quick peek. If I can find it. Where is it? Down here. There it is. Uh, Hollywood now wants 38. And that'll just keep going up. We'll probably end up wanting around the 70, which is our rate. So I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we want truck stop with one platform over here. And we then we really just want a drop off here. And that'll be okay, I guess. I suppose what we could do is put a little roundabout thingy in here, but I don't think we need to. It'll just go around. So that enables that once we put in a depot. So uh, road depot. Uh, I think we'll put that up over here. Like so. Then tracks. Let's just see what this does. Does a bit there. How much does it cost? Three hundred and twelve thousand. Okay. Um, let's try and get it a little bit cheaper. Uh, down slope there. something like that and then there nope Let's take that back a little bit that'll have to do okay then we need to come out from here and snake our way down there whoa Let's try and be a little bit sensible. Now, the, while the contour lines can be helpful, I find they're more distraction, really. Uh, to me, anyway. Okay. Let's do that. And then we need to turn here. I think this will be fine. Ah, this is perfect. Okay. I think the tracks are coming in nicely, actually. This is just going to have to do its thing. I wonder if this line is going to make money. I really hope it does. Mm. That seems very reasonable to me. Okay. 
And then it's just the last little bit, and then we need to double track it some in some places. Because we of course want more than one train on here. I'm thinking we want three. Uh, eventually, anyway. Maybe even four? There's a bit of terrain shifting here. Okay. This doesn't look good. I think we're gonna have to just eat this little dip because I really don't want to get too crazy with this. Okay, trajectory looks reasonable. Maybe I need to turn a little bit here. Let's see. Whoa! Alright. Let's... Try that. Thank you, autosave. That, that'll do. Okay, we are going to need to borrow a bit more money. Because we need to put in a double track somewhere. And I think we'll start it here. It's going to be a little bit weird here because we're going to be driving on the wrong side of the track. Um, I think make it a little bit longer to down here or something. Okay. Signals, uh, one way, yes. And we want to come down this way so down here we want that and down here we want that that's gonna be awkward but it is what it is because we want to drop off on the way back uh, we need a uh, depot thingy. I think we'll put the depot thingy down here at New York for now. This is all going to change. I mean, this is all just to get started. We, we're, we're going to change this up drastically uh, later. We really are. I put that in there. Make that a double slip. And there we have it. Okay, new line. From there to there. And you will be TRG uh, Oil Pro. Um. I guess Newport. Uh, Nen. Uh, truck. Okay. Then we need another new line going from there down to here, there, and to there, and back again. And this is going to be 
uh, cargo, uh, fuel, rod, a pro, um, and then rail. Okay, then we need a little bit of a truck line down here. Um, I think this will be fine. Let's put you in uh, here, and then a drop off down here. Uh, let's put it in here. like that and then we need a new line from there to there and this will be cargo fuel delivery uh nyc truck and this uh, rail line cargo fuel production yeah fuel production yeah that's right that's right okay and what do we have left to work with four and a half mil we have four and a half mil left to work with well uh i suppose we'll borrow all that we can And we'll start by buying our trains. We're gonna get two of them. Two Baldwins uh, with tank cars. At 49. Wow, high and not enough power. I don't think we have any higher though. Uh, we need two of these. <laughs> that leaves us with 1.3 million for the rest. And we do need to put a depot in here as well. Um, eighteen thousand. That seems reasonable. Uh. Buy vehicles. I think we just need three. Let's say three or uh, the yellow. That's a color uh, I pride myself in being able to see. Uh, and they're actually not that yellow. They're green, aren't they? Uh, which is not one of my strong suits, but I think it's that one. Uh, okay. And then up here, we'll buy 15. Uh, what color is this? Like a, a light bluish kind of thing. This one, is that the color? Or this what color? Maybe that one. And this is cargo oil production and truck. And we can repay half a mil. Woo! Okay. Things are running. We will let time pass. Uh, all right. Two industries will be removed if they're not being used. Uh, how are our trains doing? Are our trains not coming out? Uh, uh, cargo fuel production. Well, yeah, no, okay. Go ahead and put them on the line. Uh, but it should hopefully go over here. It did. It went on the right side. 
Uh, we already have crude sitting here. We do not have crude sitting here. Did I not put in that stop? Yes, I did. And it came after. Yeah. Okay. So I wonder why that's not producing, because it needs to take crude up there. Oh, now it is. There we have it. There is a bit of crude sitting there. Beautiful. Provo farm will be removed. Um, we don't really need to tell these that they can only go if they're full, because they'll be full every time. And they make 2,200 per... Per rotation, you might say. Right, you're going to sit here and wait for this to come back down, but that's okay. All right, you picked up a bit of crude there, eight crude. Uh, what's the rate on this train? Um... 42 not great but hopefully it's great enough that it'll make money we already have 29 oil sitting here and there will be more thirty five oil it, and it made 19,000 on that little trip there with eight. Uh, why can't you go? Oh, crap. Uh, something's wrong. Why did you start going there? So I need to borrow that half a mil there and put a little bit of track in here. Uh, and we need two signals, just one way. And this can be the normal way, so you go there, and you go there. Okay. So how much did you get now? 15? Okay. How much oil do we have sitting here? 22, 23. What's the rate on the... Um the fuel line or the uh, oil production line uh, 129 that's actually pretty good right, hurry up. how much are you gonna make for me make me some money 40,000 not fantastic but it wasn't even half full and it has 28 uh, crew oil I do want to tell them that uh, we want rail cargo fuel production and in Newport News you wait for a full load until you're full. 
no matter what. All right, are you going to go the right way? Yeah, over on the left side. Okay. Now, why are you not going? Okay, but well, I can't do anything about it now. It needs to get down there before this starts going. But I want it to, I want them to be far apart anyway. This is a long train line. We have 38 on board. Will we make money? That is the big question. Right now, definitely not. The bricks line is making a tiny, well, it was making a tiny profit. Um, the tools are just doing their thing. It works makes money let's see what we make here hopefully a lot four hundred and sixteen thousand for that delivery and next time it'll have fuel to take back you're in there. Which I guess means that you guys will meet here on this uh, bypass stretch, which is perfect. I actually think we're going to make money on this line. I really, really do. Choo-choo! Alright. Well, you didn't pick up anything up, so you're not going to make anything there. But... We have 33 sitting down here for the next train. And they should be running full both ways very soon. What do we have sitting here? 93, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you get down here. This is going to be profitable. I can feel it in my bones. But we're going to have to find out if it's profitable in the next one. Uh, because we are out of time. And there has to be some kind of cliffhanger sometimes, right? So yeah, uh, let's find out if we are profitable in the next episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying the EPEC challenge, the spring update. Uh, beta i know that i am uh, though it's very very hard it really is very very hard very very hard indeed but i think it's a lot of fun and i think it's a big challenge because it's on very hard uh, and i do know that i am having a heck of a lot of fun so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.